Hello everyone, my name is Quadly and welcome to a very short video about the Void Traces, resources only used for two things. The first thing is relics, to make them drop less common resources more often and the second way is to get yourself Void Keys, to get yourself in the Oracan Vaults found on Deimos. Those are actually the only two uses, but yeah, you will need a lot of them for relic refinement. When it comes to farming these, there is only four ways. First way is the only real reliable one, Void Fissures. When you are opening relics and collecting all the reactant, you will get from 6 to 30 Void Traces. What I suggest you is to play capture and exterminate missions that are not in Void Storms. For real, just try to farm prime parts and get resources as a byproduct. Also, you will get a lot of ducats this way, which you will definitely need. The second way is Void Storms. For real, this is just a terrible idea. There is some important drops you can get from Void Storms, but they are so long that they are just not worth it. Go play Void Storms only if you are in need of Endo or if you're farming specific parts. For example, on Neptune Void Storms, there is the Nautilus Sentinel, which is pretty good for Railjack. And I think it's on Pluto where you can find the Carmine Penta. But yeah, I'm not sure. Why would you even use that thing? It's garbage. If you wish to see more of this rare stuff, just go to the Warframe wiki and do some research. For real, it is not that hard. But yeah, let's continue now. In Void Storms and Void Fissures, there is a few ways to improve your Void Traces gains. Using a resource double booster is one of them. It will double the amount of the Void Fissures you get. You may also use Smita Kavat's Charm ability to double the amount of Void Traces you get. If you're using the double resource booster and the Kavat's Charm ability, you may get up to 100 or more Void Traces per relic, but only if both are active. So yeah, this is a lottery. The next, third way is the crates you can find in the Cambion Drifts, Isolation Vault Bounty, second objective. I have already made a video about this, so I suggest you to go watch it, but for real, farming Void Traces this way is just not efficient. And now the last way, the Granum Void. I would stay away from this if you are not farming Protea, Stalt, Strofa or Velox weapon parts, the amounts of Void Traces you may get as rewards is terrible, like 5 to 15 Void Traces, which is just terrible. <laughs> that is actually it, thank you for watching, I know this is a very low energy video because I just got vaccinated with the Covid vaccine and I'm being very very hot, I have a 40 degrees Celsius temperature and I am still narrating this because I'm, I, I, I'm stupid, yes. Okay, who cares. Uh, I just wanted to make a short video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, or maybe unsubscribe. And also, have a nice day. Bye, guys.